And we perform a, that's the wrong aspect ratio, it's all distorted, but never mind, we'll have to over there. Uh, we did a uh, rescue job on some open source software created by New York University School of Medicine some years ago, a virtual microscope which uh, relieves pressure on laboratories and microscopes and allows you to move huge uh, data images in a way that you can't do with researchers or slides when they're in the wrong place. So here's an example from um, uh, yesterday. Here's uh, a photograph that was taken for us. That's my puppy. Okay. <laughs> here we are. Okay, so uh, here, here, here are the people from uh, yesterday. We can go in. Um, now, we did it actually yesterday with a, um, an astronomical image of some 40 gigabytes. So if anybody had any credit card details on their screens, we're going to be looking through this carefully uh, later. So, um, this is being used by New York University in uh, teaching research for clinical purposes, but the software has fallen into that uh, valley of death, even though it was open source. What we've done is packaged it properly, provided documentation, we started writing tests, we brought it up to date. It's written in Python and Django. Uh, we now have a proper, um, some proper documentation for it. Uh, we have a uh, GitHub uh, account for it, where people can find it and work on it. Uh, when um, in June we're holding DjangoCon Europe, which is happening here in Cardiff, and the group will be picking this up to do some more work on it there. So this has a use in the world, not just in uh, medicine where uh, people need to, to use slides, but you can use it for astronomy, you can imagine museums using it for artworks. And for teaching purposes, I don't know, Chris, do you want to come in there? Yeah, we'll need uh, to log in. Uh, yes, we'll need to log in, so you jump ahead. And 30 seconds. 10 seconds. 30. Oh, 30 seconds. Okay. So this, this is demonstrating it in a moment as a tool for, um, for uh, allowing students to put, sort of label up a slide. If you could imagine this nice big picture of, of, of all of us is actually a sort of a slide. Then I'm going to drop some pins on it that, that perhaps you're, you're asked to pin uh, point out particular features on that slide, or perhaps you need to, you've got questions that are asked. So there's two pieces of functionality here. The first one is we can add a marker, and in the marker we can then say, edit it, and we can put a question. Time's up. So oh! <laughs> okay, I won't show the, um, I can't show the, the, the final bit of that bit, but, uh, but the other one is you can add markers. There's <laughs> 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 expensive for them to obtain large quantities of data and imaging, it's still less expensive than sending a researcher to the other side of the world to look through a microscope or to send the only existing example of a certain slide to another hospital or, or research facility. So yes, it, it involves some infrastructure, but actually less than the, uh, the real world, the uh, microscopes and laboratories that it can help replace. The original package, you said, sort of got left and abandoned. Yes. Is there any clue why it didn't get picked up? While it yeah. A very typical story is that it solved the problem that they had there and then, and in the years since then, various people have tried to pick it up, including me at the School of Medicine a few years ago. But it was so badly documented and so specifically written to their own situation that it was almost impossible to get started working with. So what we're doing is making it 
more generic, more open. So there's a community of people out there who will be able to use something like this and take it further. There was one question in the back. Do we have a question? Carl? I was just going to ask what you did um, specifically this weekend. Packaging, documentation, automated testing, bug fixing, bringing it up to date with the latest versions of Django. And any functionality, yes, sorry. So, 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 so will it actually be, I mean, can, will, then, will people like MRE start using this version now, or will they keep on using it? What way? Uh, conceivably, they could, yes, because it, it should still be compatible. I mean, their danger is that what's going to happen is the person who made it is going to fall under a bus or leave or something, yeah. and one day they will find themselves in a situation that we found ourselves yesterday with something that needed a lot of work to get even started. Super. Thank you very much.